Hello there, welcome back. My name is Tom. I come to you from the North Main woods of Maine. Uh, what I'd like to show you today is sometimes when you're in the North Main woods, you'll come across old vehicles that are junked out. You might even come across an old snowmobile that's been junked out. And what I would like to say here is remember where these resources are. Uh, sometimes you might uh, be out in the woods and uh, break down and need, need uh, like a, uh, one time we broke down and we needed some uh, brake fluid uh, for my brakes. We were a hundred miles north of Moosehead Lake and we'd punctured a brake line. We got it pinched off, but I needed a little bit of uh, brake fluid to top off my brake cylinder. And we, we knew it was maybe 20 mile ride from where we was, but we knew where there was an old pickup. And we went there, it was, it was a pickup there in an old van. And out of them, they, they were junked out, trees growing up through them. But we popped off the reservoir and pulled out some uh, uh, some oil for the brakes and, uh, and put it in mine, and we was good to go. So, but right here standing behind me, why we're standing here is there's an old snowmobile here. And on old snowmobiles, you can have rubber parts, you've got the drive belt, you can, there's multiple fire starters on here, as well as the, uh, the fiberglass cowling that will burn burn like a bonfire uh, so remember where some of these things are uh, when you're in the north main woods they could come in handy uh, one other time we had lost a uh, uh, we had lost the wheel bearings on a ford pickup truck same deal there we were probably 100 150 miles north of moosehead lake on a bird hunting trip and my father is a wicked mechanic on them old vehicles like that back then. And what he did, we found a truck that had the exact same uh, wheel bearings. Who knows how long it had been setting out in the woods. There, like I said, trees growing up through it. But 100 miles north of Moosehead Lake, we pulled the wheel bearings off the, the rear axle, uh, changed it, and hunted uh, the rest of our hunting trip and hauled our camper and all that stuff out of the woods. So I'm going to just shut this down for a second and I'm going to zoom in on that old snowmobile give you an idea of, of just what I am talking about. This right here is uh, what I'm talking about. It's laying here in the woods. You can see it's completely junked out. Who, who knows how many years it's been sitting there. But on here you have a rubber track that's underneath it. A wicked fire starter. Uh, you have rubber wheels uh, on this particular snowmobile. The drive belt is still there. There is uh, springs off a carburetor. Uh, who knows? You might have a snowmobile that's broke down. You might be able to jerry-rig uh, some pot from this one that might get you out of the North Main woods. Uh, so remember where these resources are. It's man-made, but you're driving a snowmobile or you're driving a four-wheeler, and there might just be a pod on here that is worth your while to know where this old machine is setting. So, again, thank you for tuning into this video. I just thought this was a little tidbit that you might not know exists in our North Main woods. So, uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you on the next video.